So, what what did he do? Do you see what he did? Yeah, he canceled the zip line. Uh, res he went back down, reset after he got hit for a sixty six. So he zip line bounced. He he lined up his shot, but because he knew he was in danger of getting shot at. Look, look at where this pathfinder is shooting. He's shooting where Fade used to be. But what he did? What did he do? He got off his X, right? They, this is an example of where you're using movement to have better positioning than the enemy. Boom. So he got off the X, he gets back on the zip line, he jump or he mantle jumps to get over. Don't get me wrong, this is like very high level. This guy's running away. This is what you should do if you get shit on. However, this guy is too slow. He didn't put his gun away. He didn't slide jump and he certainly didn't fucking tap strafe, so he gets fucking put in a body bag. What's next? Then, so he turns around, he puts his gun away. He goes to leave, but he hears something or sees this guy, so he decides to pick a movement option because he's about to get fucked on, right? What's he going to do? He's going to turn around. He's going to pump this guy for like 70. I don't know what he hit him for. He goes back to the zip line to pick a movement option. Guess what? If he misses this shot and it's fucking ass, he can keep going or he can tap strafe back into this fucking object right here and like wall bounce. He can go off the building. He can go back into, into the stairway. He can go... Uh, onto the top of it, pick a tap strafe movement option, right? What does he go for? He goes for the super glide. He misses the super glide, doesn't matter. He hits him for 100, and he kills him with his other gun. He sees this. What What is he going to do? He's going to pick one of two options. He's, he's either going to aim at this guy and hit him twice, or he's going to put his gun away and slide jump in a different direction. I bet you he, he uh, bounces off of this. I mean, he picked it for a movement option, right? Because he was just like, you know what? I don't think I'm ready for this. Because he has two shots in his um, in his wingman. He's got one shot in his PK. So, he, de he decides to do this. He picks another option. He goes for the stick. He actually fucking hits it. He's going to PK pump him, and then he's going to move. He fucking kills him, right? But he didn't even do it yet, and I told you exactly what he was going to do. And that's because he has a method. He has... He has a playbook. This is how he plays. This is not how you should play, but there is a rule book that you should follow in everything that you do. Let's go to the next time. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, it's fucking over. Um, let's pick another one. Light. So, he's playing the door. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna restart this. So... He, see, he sees the dude on the door. We already saw it, but what's he going to do? He's going to open the door. He's going to try and get as much damage as he possibly can. And without taking any damage at all, or he's going to try and not take any damage at all, he's going to close the door, right? Boom. He didn't take any damage at all. He got an 86 on this guy. What's he going to do? Um, There are two people there, but I guarantee you he's going to either... He's going to put his gun away... So he, he's going to holster, open the door, slide, jump, pull his gun back out, and he's going to kill this guy. No, because the second man is pushing. Which is probably good. And see, this is why I'm not fade. <clears throat> he lets him open the door. He gets the stick. The other guy is shit on. He's probably going to push in here. <laughs> oh! That was kind of nasty. Holy. Is that the end of the clip? Yep. Right? But for the most part, the rule book stays the fucking same. Every, every single time. Mitigate taking damage as best as possible. Generate an advantage. And then operate on your advantage to the best of your capability. Every single time. And it all starts with a position. 